Change is necessary to move forward, develop and push boundaries. But change doesn't come without challenges. So what can you achieve within one year? And what challenges do you face? It's important that we show that we can achieve a lot as a team and we can really encourage also other sectors, maritime sector, but outside that in transportation, to really think what is the way ahead and uh, move forward. I think I've grown a lot uh, in this year on both an educational level and a personal level. Well, I hope that the maritime industry um, takes an example from us, that when you work together, you put all your effort into, into a sustainable mission, you can really make a change happen. With an amazing team, I made an amazing product, so uh, I'm really proud. We started this year with 20 ambitious students and a dream of taking sustainable innovation to the next level by building a truly unique boat. For the past 15 years, we've been building boats that sail on solar energy. This means 15 years of inspiring the maritime industry by generating green energy. This year, we took an enormous step in uncharted waters with our project Hydromotion. We focused on storing green energy in hydrogen to break boundaries and become even more relevant for the maritime industry. With this amazing team, uh, we had this, this uh, task and uh, we worked one full year uh, and now look at the achievements we have. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's indescribable. And also learned what it, what it is to, to think and engineer with a sustainable mindset and how, uh, how you can translate that motivation into, into something concrete. To show to others. And but also working in team with 20 students who have not done it like this before and that intense. Also very fun and I think I've also made friends for life. <laughs> A lot of parties have been looking into the possibilities of hydrogen. We all see the potential. It was time to put it into practice. The first step was creating our highly ambitious design the world's first ever flying hydrogen boat. During our design presentation, we introduced our plan to refit the 2019 Trimaran with a complete hydrogen system and make it fly on the open ocean. It would become tough or even impossible to complete the project within one year. But against all odds, we were determined to take on this challenge. There was no evidence that it was possible ever. Uh, there was uh, constantly being said like, ah, this is, uh, this is too far from the limits, this is something you never done before, uh, why don't you do this, why don't you do that, because we know that it works. Uh, and we always took the route that is unknown, and we wouldn't know what came. Um, and yeah, that, uh, that uh, cost some uh, exciting times. Uh, I am very proud of, the, of this project and especially also of the team, uh, because we did something really amazing and challenging. Everybody jumped in to help each other. We produced almost every part of the boat ourselves. Our partners supported us in this process in the form of design session, facilities, and exchange of valuable knowledge. It was amazing to see our design becoming reality. After three and a half months of total commitment to production, we proudly revealed our boat at the Maritime Museum in Rotterdam with Jan Terlouw. We moeten het allemaal doen en iedereen moet doen wat hij kan. En wat kunnen technische studenten? Die kunnen zo'n mooi schip bouwen. Dat op een andere manier wordt voortgedreven dan schepen vroeger. En geven daarmee een voorbeeld. Ten eerste, maar ten tweede maken ze ook zo'n schip. En dat kan nagedaan worden en dat kan op grotere schaal. En zo kunnen van Lieverlee al dat vrachtvervoer wat door de wereld gaat op een veel duurzame manier vervoeren. But we were definitely not there yet. We barely had two months to completely test all systems and make our boat fly. The first day of testing was a great experience. Our self-made boat was sailing in the water. We could start to steadily make all the system fully function in the water. However, the last step was making the boat fly. The moment of truth, one week before the race. We were ready for the first flight test. With the whole team on shore, anxiously waiting, the boat made speed and took off above the waves. An indescribable moment. 
the world's first flying hydrogen boat. And after setting the goal together of, of wanting to make a boat and making a boat, we uh, actually truly made the world's first flying hydrogen boat. Well, we posted it on all our social media and it got picked up by some news and yeah, that's when the reaction started flying in, started coming in. So partners, obviously super enthusiastic because, because yeah, we were the first in the world to do this. I can't really describe the feeling actually, but uh, yeah, it was an amazing feeling when, uh, when we saw it fly for the first time, of course. The whole team was excited to arrive in Monaco. We successfully completed our first race and flew over the Mediterranean Sea with our trimaran. Be there in Monaco, see the boat flying before big yachts. It's like incredible. It feels amazing to see your, your own little baby in the fence to uh, be there within the big boys. It was amazing to see the, the big trimaran lifted out of the nice blue Mediterranean waves. It's like something completely different, something that we've all worked for an entire year. We started this year as total strangers with barely any knowledge on how to build a boat. Now we are standing here with a strong team and the world's first flying hydrogen boat. Partner companies from all different fields joined forces to face the challenge of change with our team. Together, we make innovation happen. Our team was even awarded the new generation prize at the World Championship for showing the feasibility of the most innovative design. I think this could be the next step for companies to implement this type of hydrogen systems into their vessels. At the end of the year, we can say that we did build the world's first hydrogen boat with a team of 20 students. The world's first flying hydrogen boat. Yeah, exactly. The world's first flying hydrogen boat. Uh, if you're in a, such a project with other people, you're really in it together. We set a lot of goals, uh, so uh, sailing on open sea uh, and also on hydrogen and foiling. You can do a lot in one year, especially when you realize uh, how much hard work it was. But if you're with the whole team, you can do so much more than uh, if you were alone. Even in, in the more difficult times, uh, you have to realize that uh, you're not alone and you're in a team uh, in this together. And uh, that's just beautiful that you're working on, on the same project, like all of you, putting all your effort into this one thing and then realizing that goal. Uh, so you should enjoy that. And we learned so incredibly much this year. And now we have like a strong group of friends, a strong team and a uh, world's first flying hydrogen boat. In, and I think the slightest change is, um, it starts with yourself. If you start yourself, be sustainable, um, and really think about it, then you really can take everyone with you. Um, and I think then we can definitely come very far as, in, uh, as students, but also as uh, society. <laughs>